Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's been a very long time since I've done a pickups video, so I thought now would be a good time to do one because in the past few months I have found a few cool things that I'd like to show you guys and they will appear in videos eventually but I was like eh, let's do a pickups video. Now this probably won't be in a nice neat little order. This is just a bunch of stuff I have in a box that's new and I want to show you. So it's gonna be a little messy but in a good way. So first up we have these awesome pink Sega Genesis and Sega Saturn controllers um, from Retrobit. I love their Genesis controllers so I had to buy these when I saw they were pink. I got these through Limited Run and I totally forgot I pre-ordered them and then they showed up one day. <laughs> these are cool because a percentage goes to the National Breast Cancer Foundation and to Helping Women Now. So it's a good cause, cool controllers, glad I bought them. Next up we have the Little Mermaid 2 Pinball Frenzy. So Little Mermaid 2 was awful, it came out when all those Disney sequels were direct to VHS or DVD and I remember renting it and I didn't finish it. I couldn't finish it. Ariel has a kid, but that's not important. What's important is that this Game Boy Color game is actually a really good pinball game. And when I found out about it, I had to own it. So this was a pretty good deal. I'm really excited to use this. And also, it has a rumble feature. So yeah, good pinball game. You know I love Ariel, so I had to get this. Next up, we have a sun-faded box of Castlevania 64. Now, I know this game has a lot of mixed reviews. I talked about this on Twitter the other day. People either like it, they say it takes a while to understand how to control it, and the camera angles are weird, but then once you get it, you'll like it, and other people just think it sucks. Now, I know I'm probably not gonna like this game, but my Twitch chat, you know, always brings it up, so I gotta play it. I know there's skeletons on motorcycles, so I at least need to make it that far in the game. I wanna see that, but yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Castlevania 64. This actually was a lot cheaper than I thought it would be, so I just went ahead and got it in the box, or else I would have just gotten the cart. This is the NES Satellite. Now this is a cool little device to help you play your NES games without being tied to the NES console. So what it does, you stick this little guy, which kind of looks like a little um, NES now that I look at it. You stick this in the controller port, of your Nintendo system and then this I assume you keep by you and then you attach your NES controllers here so it's kind of like a wireless thing but not because you're wired into this but there's a receiver on it and so basically it'll let you play your games from further away I don't know if it works I obviously don't know much about it yet but I will research it and I'll probably do a video on it because I like quirky little peripherals like this so I had to add this to the collection because it's cool and I want to learn about it. And I like this little receiver box that looks like an NES. It's great. So we'll see how this goes and hopefully it works. Because I bought um, another wireless NES thing and it didn't work at all. So hopefully this one works. So here's a random game I picked up. This is Cars on GameCube. I heard this is actually supposed to be a decent racing game. I could have been lied to or mistaken but either way this was like for $4.99 I think so I was like you know what I'll pick it up so Disney Pixar cars for the GameCube next up we have Killer Bees for the Odyssey 2 so I've been putting off making my Odyssey 2 video because I wanted to get a few more games and this was prob I think this was the last one I needed so that video should be coming soon. But this is Killer Bees for the Odyssey 2. People really like this game. It's known as probably one of the best Odyssey 2 games. And I don't see it around really that much, especially in the box. So I saw this randomly at a used bookstore when I went back home to Southern California and I had to pick this up. Next up I have Astyanax. Astyanax. Astanax. I don't know how to say this word. But regardless, this is a NES game that apparently a lot of you guys really like and grew up playing. I never even heard of it until a few months ago. And it's kind of clunky. I feel like the controls are a little bit clunky, but I do like it. Um, I was streaming it a few times. It's, it is pretty difficult, um, but I do think it's beatable. So I do want to try to beat this game but I wanted to own a physical copy of it because I was playing on my EverDrive. And I don't know, it's like it's like Castlevania-ish in the sense that, you know, you're in a castle and there's 
skeletons and spooky, you know, things trying to kill you. Um, but it's cool. The sprites are really big in this game. For NES game, I feel like that's kind of rare. So, I don't know. I would check it out. You're either gonna love it or hate it. I kind of like it. I don't know if I love it, but I like it. And these were in a bin at a game store in Southern California, and they were just really cheap, so I bought them because I wanted to add them to my collection. I got Karnov, which is a, you know, it's a classic NES game. A lot of you guys like it. I've only played it a few times, but I was like, I need Karnov in my collection. And then over here, we got Super Spike V-Ball because I'm insane and I actually really like this game. And it wasn't $4.99, I forget how much it was, but I think it was like $2 and it's in pretty good condition. So I have to have Super Spike V-Ball. It's, I don't know, I like it, it makes me happy. Ooh, whose name is written on the back? McVeigh. McVeigh used to own this and now I own it. So this is cool. I randomly got in the, um, the mood to start collecting weird controllers and I saw this at SoCal Gaming Expo Swap Meet over the, um, the last summer and I left it at my parents' house and then my mom lost it, but then she found it. So now, now it's here. This is the Joy Ball for the Famicom. Look at this controller. I mean, joystick, whatever you want to call it, this ball this sphere it feels really weird um there's start select a and b i think this is a feature for like turbo or whatever i haven't used it yet but i'm excited to see if this actually works and how awkward this feels because this can't be good this can't be a good controller and at the same time i got the ultra racer 64 i totally forgot i bought this it looks like just a crappy controller for n64 racing games but I don't know, I'm gonna have to try this out. Maybe I'll do a stream, but I don't know. It just says performance on the bottom. And the wires are actually coming out. So we'll see if this even works. This was in a bin of crap. So we'll see. Cause sometimes, you know, you can find gems in bins of crap, but I doubt this will be the case. But regardless, this is a pickup. Another random thing I picked up a few months ago well now it's like probably six months ago, was the Target special edition of the Game Boy Advance. I don't know, something came over me. I mean, I love Target. I love the Game Boy Advance. So put the two together and I have to own it. So here it is, the Target Game Boy Advance. It's red. I think it's really funny they made this. I mean, it's Target colors. You got gray, you got the black and the red. But it's a good shade of red. It just straight up says Target. I feel like they wouldn't make that now with just the store's name on it. Isn't that kind of weird? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird that this exists, but I'm glad I own it because what the hell? And this is really random. So there's no Sanrio stores that I know of out here. And if you don't know, Sanrio is the company that made Hello Kitty and there's a whole bunch of other characters in the Sanrio universe that I love. And so this is Hello Sanrio plush burger charm. So it's a blind box Hello Kitty burger thing. So I'm going to see which character I got burgerized in here. So now it's an unboxing. Wow, what a great video. Okay, which one will you get? I don't know. This box is so cute and I'm destroying it. Oh, okay. It's also by Kid Robot. I forgot about that brand. I got one of the little twin stars and he's a burger. He's a blue burger. This is adorable. It's really big. I don't know. I'll probably put it on my purse because that's what I do. So this I was really excited about. I discovered this when I was going through the Montgomery Ward's um, Christmas catalog from 1984. And you know how I like my robots. I like toy robots. I like Wally. -E. I just like cute robots. So this is Dingbot. I discovered him and I instantly ordered him off eBay. And I had no idea he was going to be this small, but that's good because I don't have a lot of room for stuff. Once upon a time, in the not so distant future, a robot was made and left alone to find his way. His name? Dingbot! A non-stop, chattering, bump and go robot. So basically, I think he just runs into walls and he'll go around your house. And I'm really excited, so I need to get batteries for him. But I also plan on getting Verbots and Omnibots so I can complete the little family of robots. Oh my god, let me take him out of the box. I'm, just, I'm too excited about Dingbot, but here he is. He looks like um, the predecessor to Wally. He's made by Tomy. Um, they made a lot of these awesome robots. I kind of 
I'm serious. I, it sounded like I was joking on Twitter, but I'm actually serious. I do want to start collecting all the Tomy toy robots. I think this is a good place to start. So this is a very random pickup. I was obsessed with Sailor Moon as a kid. And then I kind of fell off of watching the series, but I kept collecting the toys and then I stopped. So like for the past like 15, well, for the past like 10 years I've barely bought anything Sailor Moon, but it's kind of started up again. And I randomly saw this online. It was really cheap. You know, when it was in the middle of the night. You can't sleep. You're browsing eBay. You're browsing Amazon. Purchases happen. And you're not proud of them, but they happen. Anyway, I got Sailor Mars in her normal clothes. And I've never seen these dolls before. I mean, granted, it's been a while since I've looked at Sailor Moon merchandise. And when I say Sailor Moon merchandise, I mean like vintage Sailor Moon merchandise. And it kills me to say the word vintage about something I grew up with. But anyway, so this is Sailor Mars. She's adorable. She's in her cute little red dress. And on the back, they show all the other Sailor Scouts in their day dresses. I would love to get Sailor Venus because she's my favorite. I mean, I'd like them all, but look at Sailor Venus's little skirt. She's so cute, but, but I really like this. She's going to live with my other Japanese Sailor Moon dolls. So I don't really collect Amiibos, but it's so hard to come across Castlevania merchandise that when I saw Richter and Simon were in Amiibo form, and I know it's for Smash Brothers, I don't play Smash Brothers, but I still had to get these. So now these guys live on the shelf behind me, and I'm so glad to have them hanging out with me when I'm streaming one of the Castlevania games. I'm always streaming Castlevania. Right now I'm not, but I like them. These are cool. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything. I thought I had more, but... I guess not. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and if you want more frequent pickup videos, let me know, and I will be back again very soon with more playthroughs, reviews, something. I don't know. There's a lot of ideas in my head right now, and I'm just trying to focus on what to do first. Alright, see you next time. Bye!